Good morning. We're here in the house, about to go to the gym. This is the earliest we, the, that we've been up in a very long time. I know 8.45 is not really that early, but for us it is. Alexa woke up this morning and said, I am so grumpy, so this is what I'm dealing with. But it's okay, she's pregnant, she's excused. Anywho, I'm Carlos Benavega, this is my wife. Alexa Benavega. Yeah, that's how grumpy she is. <laughs> Welcome to our vlog. now grumpy because Alexa is grumpy. Somebody commented, I saw a comment from the, from the last vlog that was like, girls can be sassy sometimes. You are sassy. Hey, but hold on, hold on. I think everybody has their sassy moments. <laughs> that was right there, that hat was probably my sassiest moment. <laughs> yeah, right. Girl, this morning you were sassy. You are so angry. You, know so you want to hurt me with your hands. I didn't say I feel grumpy this morning. You wouldn't have known. You just would like, baby, you tired? And I would have been like, yeah. But I went, baby, I feel grumpy this morning. All of a sudden it's like, oh, Alexa's grumpy this morning. the gym getting ready guys we have a, a really cool meeting today hence why we're getting all done up oh done up keep hitting me and i'm doing eyeliner i'm I so, so sorry much. i love you so much cool 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 so we're gonna go over here you finish your makeup we're just gonna be over here talking anyways awesomeness tv is doing some amazing things and we're just gonna meet up in their office talk see if we can uh do some cool stuff online because we're loving this and who knows anything is possible but now we gotta get ready because we were supposed to leave 15 minutes ago. But hey, what else is new, guys? Head to Vegas. My amazing wife has managed to uh, make us breakfast with five minutes to spare. Do you like that showing? Yeah. There's no music, but only only in your brain. No, no, this is gonna be dancing. Oop. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Did you wear Yeah, you? Uh, hey, babe, do you like my uh, Elton John glasses? Uh, they would need to be Rose if they were Elton John. I think I like about Elton John. You need Rose and all the glasses. What's that one song that he sings? Can you feel the love tonight? Oh. It is where She's not amused. What's up? Oh, holler. You're so smart, babe. What if a camera crew just followed you around all day? I wouldn't like it. Really? Yeah, we did it during Dancing with the Stars. And you didn't like it? No. You loved it? No. This really isn't your day today, babe. You know what? Let's make it your day from this moment forward. Positivity. This is Alexa's day. This is Alexa's day. Okay, so firstly, I want to apologize for not filming anything in there. We got really lost, and then by the time we got there, we ran into the meeting, but it was a great meeting, man. Oh, so Right? Miss nice. Paula. Paula amazing. Shout out to Miss Paula. I know, I know she watches our vlogs. Miss Paula, those are my business. Sorry. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to Miss Paula. I know she watches our vlogs. Miss Paula, we love you. <laughs> and uh, Sarah, right? Sarah's great. Sarah, you were awesome. And she's a little two-year-old. She's a little two-year-old. She was giving us tips because he's a little crazy boy like our little ocean's going to be. <laughs> uh, anyways, we are headed to a doctor's appointment now. Yep. 
And yeah, that was that. I'm sorry that I didn't film in there. It just, it didn't feel right. You know, sometimes it, it doesn't feel right, but that might be my, uh, uh, that might be my naiveness. No, that's not the right word. What's the word? My noviceness. My noviceness as a vlogger. What? Always pull the camera. When in doubt, pull the camera out. Is, is, isn't that what they say? Is it? I don't know. I had something in my eye. Okay. Hurt. Doctor's appointment. Let's do that. All right, guys, the hotel right there. Do you know what it's called, baby? I don't. Because I forgot. Oh no, it's called the Century Plaza Hotel. Guys, that is where I got my my like big break. How crazy is that? Right there, that big old hotel. So basically, back when I was like 13 or 12, they held uh, like a like a convention or a conference or something. It was called Best New Talent. It was a, it was a competition called Best New Talent. And I came from, from Florida to here. We, we, we stayed there, I did the competition, and I won Best Male Model. Oh my god. I know, right? Best in Commercial, and Best in Something Else. And then, so I won three, and then I won Best Overall Talent. I'm really impressed with You're not really paying attention, but how crazy no, is that? No, why? Because I know that our address is behind us, but my car is telling us. Okay. I won all the I won all those things, and that's where I got my start. Baby, you're an impressive man. Really? Yeah. Why I'm yours. I... I'm like your trophy husband. What? Why would... You are my trophy husband. Why would I marry somebody who's not impressive? That is true. Why would I marry someone mm. unimpressive? Anyways. This girl needed cash, and she was struggling, and Alexa just offered to pay for her parking. That, have it, has that happened to you? Yeah, and then you're the s stranded. Well, no, they take your ID, they take everything, and you have three days to come back, and if you don't, you get like a crazy ticket to your part of No, I didn't. So we are in the hospital room right now. The hospital? Well, what do you call this? The doctor's office. Whatever, hospital doctors. Oh, by the way, can I just point this out? We we're just at our business manager's office and we got a letter from when Alexa oh went <laughs> no this is not a good letter but from when Alexa was at the ER for her little thing that she didn't get stitches but we called that it I stitches. should have had stitches for? they charged the insurance company two thousand dollars listen this scar which by the way I think still has glass in it because it hurts so bad you guys saw what happened at the two it's so dollars. dumb. They should have put three stitches in it just like the doctor wanted. And they should have given you a massage, like a three hour massage. No, but I Ma maybe honestly, a four course dinner. I think they were. I is, think, is that a thing? Four course? It's six I, course? I don't know what it is. I think they were just like two. Uh oh, heavy. uh oh, doctor's coming in. Doctor, come in. <laughs> Sorry, doc. Uh, we're not making videos in your office. I promise. <laughs> just kidding. We he loves us making videos in here. We're doing great, doc. How are you doing? He's ridiculous. Um, I told Kathy, really uh, to I didn't call she you, talks to Alexa. but kind of at, um, but he'll always ask about me to turn like five the days off. ago, I That's was having, still moving around a lot, and then nothing is happening. I'm let them do their thing. So. Now, see, there's the head on the cervix. Got it. The cervix is uh, a little thin, but it's in the range of normal. Okay. Right. So much. We gotta get this nursery done. Yeah. <laughs> Cause this baby is coming. Which is funny because Carlos and I are both petite. Speak for yourself. Well, my, I, daughter I, I was, was, my daughter's my daughter's petite. Like you, and her baby was seven, though. twelve, a week early. So Doc is hilarious because like he's not. Baby, can I help you? Are you good? I think I'm okay. Okay. Just don't show me. No, no, it's okay. She's changing. But it's so funny because like I try and joke with him and he just like smiles and walks away. Is he shy? Why so shy? We're like homies. Like we go you know, way back. Well, I mean, we both see my wife. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just saying. So are you excited? Yeah. I just crazy that my cervix is changing now. But yeah, but like how long does it change? Like five weeks? What? Like how long will it take to like, I don't change? Know. I think that's what we're gonna find out. I know he didn't really say much today. 
think we're gonna find out in the office. Normally, he's like, yeah, it's a baby, it's good. Uh, it's, you know, very, very, very un uneventful pregnancy, and uh, yeah, cool. We'll see you in a few weeks. He didn't say anything. He was like, pff, 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 see well, in my so, office. No, well, today, because well, today is a little different than normal. Uh, we. Well, one of these days it could happen, but right. you, you really don't want to, you would like, I tell you what, you would really like to get to November 1st. Great. That's really our goal. Yeah. Because if you, at November 1st, that's four weeks early, you're no big deal. No. Four weeks and he's already early. measuring a couple weeks early anyway. Wait, so f four weeks is okay. So a month early is okay. Totally okay. Wow. I've been watching a lot of labors and births. He's educating himself. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes there's a lot of blood. Yes, that's true. I'm really hoping that, that this one there isn't. And listen, Doc, I'm going to be there to help you if you need anything. Should we let him do the birth? I don't know. No, no, no. Don't let me do I think it. He'll but... pass out. No, no, no. We'll do it together. Yeah, we'll okay. do it together. <laughs> kind of monitor yeah. things and so on. We'll stay on top of it. Doc, we'll see you soon. All right. Thank you, Dr. Green. <laughs> okay, adios. So, the goal. Oh. Perfect. Good timing. Good good timing on the elevator. That's our friend Samantha. She's cute. Actually, I actually have no idea who she is. That's what Dr. Crane said that we have to hopefully keep her legs closed and no baby until the November 1st. But that cervix is starting to change. How crazy is yeah. that? Yeah. I mean, you have an eyelash. Oh, really? Make a wish. Make a wish. No, I'm going to give it to you. That's right. So we're on the way home. We're going to hit traffic because it's LA. But the good thing is, we have each other, you know that? Amen. And we have a little bit of Your water water's left. open. I, I didn't know it was open. <laughs> All right. There you go. But we have this much water left for a 57 minute ride. We have to survive. We have to survive. Babe, are you ready for this? Ready for what? This is the drive home. This is the stupidest thing ever. You should just stop. What's up, Familia? We are spending our evening uh, doing some editing, doing some studying uh, of lyrics, and uh, trying to get my my uh, big drone. Ah, almost dropped my phone. Trying to get my big drone uh, up and running. I've, I've always had issues with this firmware. For those of you who, who might have a drone like this, the, the the big Inspire, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Hold on, let's see. I got the drone working. It's out there that thing right there boom uh, I flew it off from the balcony so I'm gonna try and get it in right now but everything looks good Can you see that it all looks good it's flying well handling pretty well so I'm happy tomorrow I'm helping a friend shoot a music video uh, he needs a drone and I was like dude I'll hook you up I'll just fly to you and uh, yeah so he wanted the big guy <laughs> so let's see if I can get this thing back in Getting ready for bed. There's a hemorrhoid commercial on. <laughs> she's brushing her teeth. And she's out of focus. And she's in focus. And I'm gonna brush my teeth and wash my face. And get ready for bed. Because we tired. And guys, it's 9.30, which means that we're getting back on our schedule. I'm so happy. This is my lighting way. Hello! Hi guys! What's up? Hope you guys um, enjoyed it. You can do it. No, you do it. Okay. You always do it. That's okay. the thing. What's going on guys? Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. We have a special guest for the wow. Uh, and if you can't... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't figured it out, it's this guy right it's here, Andrew right in the middle, Mortaza. Andrew Mortaza. Also, um, if you guys don't know who he is, go back and watch the episode called... Getting the uh, No, no, no. Big Time Rush Blimps. <laughs> we have KCA Blimps in our house. I think, that, I think that's what it's called, but we did a whole thing on Drew. He's single, ready to mingle, and we did a whole thing on yeah. him. So. Still yeah. single. Still, still single, single. And, still and still ready to mingle, right? I am, depending on where we're mingling. <laughs> Um, so Andrew actually has no idea really what we're doing right now. Yeah, he was over helping us uh, package and fold some stuff for all the Crosser line 
uh, cross, your cross your heart. Cross your, cross your heart line. Sorry, yeah, it's, it's late. late. He's new. He's and new. Um, we yeah. we like literally we just filled him in on all that. We, we were literally like, Drew, you have to come do the wow. And he's like, What's that? We're like, Just sit in the seat. We'll turn the lights on. Here we are. And here we are. So wow, words so, of wisdom. And basically, so for everybody who always asks, Alexa and Carlos, where'd you guys meet? We met at Andrew's Bible study. So he is somebody who would be great at the wow. Um, I've actually learned a lot from you, and so has Carlos. Yeah. And a lot of a lot of the foundation for our faith was paved at your home. Well, amen. So, so <laughs> well, I'm just glad you guys are here. Amen to that. <laughs> um, Andrew took me to and church for the there. first time out here in California. Yeah, that's true. He did. Yeah, actually, he did. And actually, that's kind of. Anyway, go on. Sorry. No, go ahead. Like, say I don't know how all this is supposed to work. No, man, you can no, say whatever you want. This is spontaneous. No, because that's kind of like what I was going to talk about. Because we were talking about oh, this the other day. You're trying to segue. Yeah. Cool, cool. It's a good I segue. tried that last vlog. It didn't really work. So go ahead. Well, that's actually going to work so because kind of, it has to do with what we told you guys Andrew, are talking we're about. like, what's on your heart? What do you want to tell people? Like, what? Pick a scripture. Where, where is the Holy Spirit leading you today? And, and this is where I went. Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter twenty-nine. Jeremiah. <laughs> Je Jeremiah. <laughs> Don't make it's fun a, of me. You guys, it's a, it's a new Bible it's a story. New book. Um, no, Jeremiah twenty-nine, the eleventh of twenty-ninth uh, chapter, eleventh verse. It says, "For I know the thoughts that I think towards you," says the Lord, "thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope." And the King James version it says, "an ex to an extent expected end." And <clears throat> we were talking about this earlier today because I. When Jeremiah was writing this to uh, the children of Israel who were uh, taken into captivity into Babylon, at that time, he was telling them that God was telling them, "I ha you guys are going to prosper. You're going to be fine. Just do what you need to do. Be obedient in captivity. But some of these people, Jeremiah had uh, prophesied they'd be in captivity for 70 years. And if they're going to be in captivity for 70 years, some of these people are never going to make it out of that. They're going to be there. So like, how do I... How am I prospering in captivity? But the problem is, is that we all realize that when things happen in our lives, it's not for us to even understand or try to gather an understanding of what God would think. Yep. It's really about just doing what we need to do because yep. we're right in God at that moment. And so Preach. when I was talking to Carlos and Alex, actually, they both had to go through the stuff they had to in their lives prior to meeting each other so that that moment came that they could meet each other and be open to a point where they could finally yeah. know each other. Well, it's almost like wow, the, the scripture when they talk about being joyful even in the difficult times. What yeah. is it? Yeah, uh, uh, rejoice uh, in your... Um, it's in Second Corinthians, the 12th chapter. Um, I can't think of it right now. He knows a lot. 12 and 8. It's, um, for I rejoice even in the times of trouble Ah, but I don't. Know I don't remember it, but it's. But it reminds it. me of that because it's our. It's our duty, to just keep being faithful, and regardless of the circumstances. Here it we, is. Okay. It says, and um, concerning this thing, I pleaded with the Lord three times that it might depart from me, and He said to me, "My grace is sufficient for you, for you. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly I will. I will rather boast of in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me." Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. You that's amazing. About? That's not the one I was talking oh. about. <laughs> but that's a really good scripture. That's the one I thought you were talking no, about. No, you know what it is? It's consider it pure joy when you face trials of many kinds. There we go. That's we what just, I was talking about. We just about. talked about that. There you go. But, but Andrew, I really liked your scripture too. Yeah, <laughs> whatever, I've already got pre-planned stuff in my head. <laughs> They go on their no. own. Why um, do they ask me questions on, cam on camera? I don't get why? it. Why? No, it's good though. No, but that's what we do. <coughs> a lot of times that we won't you know. Okay? We won't know what we're talking about in the wow. And like I didn't know what he was talking about yesterday, and he just. And we just kind of went for it. Oh, so, great! Because yeah. I don't know what any of them are saying. It's conversational. Yeah. But you know, it's from but the heart. but in all honesty, like I've had so many people come up to me lately, like talk about that because they're always so concerned about the stuff they're going through mm -hmm. at that moment. And in reality, it's not about what we're going through. And the more and more people start to realize that your life is really, truly not yours. It's God's. Yep. And he's going to do with it what he needs to do. And even if we all, every single one of us, including the people that watch this thing, 
uh, this it's a vlog. vlog. It's a vlog. Um, with a v. Sorry guys, I'm way back in the past, <laughs> so I'm just trying to. Drew was like, "You guys have a vlog." I was up. like, "Yeah," and you've been on it like five times. I don't even know what a vlog is. The last <laughs> thing I had heard of is of a blog, so I thought they were just saying it wrong because they're. Get a panic? Hispanic? <laughs> no. Stupid. <laughs> no. Oh, that's not what I was gonna say. Sorry, Why we don't we don't oh. beat our friends. We're gonna edit that out, right, babe? No, I yeah. know uh, that's I staying in there. Thing. That's uh, staying in there. Go no, ahead, finish your not. thought. Look, for real, man. Finish your uh, thought. But um, <laughs> anyway, so uh, I just found out what a vlog is, and and for those that are watching it, it's like, you know, if we just get to that understanding that this is not really our lives and we really are doing this for God because if you really truly believe that if you really truly believe that you're living for God then no matter what you're going through you're going to still take joy in that moment yeah. you know because it's like okay regardless of what I'm going through God's still covering me so if God's covering me and I really believe God's covering me then how could I think that my God who's my father who's supposed to take care of me is going to just let me fall on my face amen this is not going to happen amen no that's so that's good it's so true. This was a good se uh, 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 second wow from, from yesterday's vlog. I agree. Dude, high five. I agree. Um, well, that's it, guys. Uh, Drew, thank you for joining us Joining us for, for whatever for, this was. For uh, today's <laughs> vlog. No, these are, wow. they're words of wisdom. They're words of inspiration that, that come from, that are founded in faith. From the heart, I hope dude. This inspired. From the heart. That's I it. This I was going to bring more. <laughs> Um, so <laughs> that's just your nipple. Know, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so you guys, Where's thank you so done? much for the love. Continue, uh, you know, submitting any prayer requests. We're praying for you, and we just love seeing you guys pray for each other. Drew was just reading through some comments, and he was like, "This is amazing. I can't believe that you know it's just such a positive comment uh, feed." So keep on doing it, guys. Y'all are amazing. Oh, and uh. On three, should we initiate? Uh, no, no, Andrew? no, 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 no. Drew should just do it himself. No, but he doesn't know about so it. So I'll whisper it then. No, no, don't, don't whisper it. I think we should just initiate it. But, no. But like, I don't want to scare him because sometimes we just do it like spontaneously and super loud. What do you mean? Chop it! What? <laughs> what did you guys say? No, what did you say? Chopped liver. Chopped liver. Yeah. Say. It. But like funky. Uh, I, uh, yeah. Um, chopped liver. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 but like, fuck it, like, you do? No, it's like, chopped liver! Chopped liver! There we go! There we go, punch it. Oh! <laughs> that's, it. that's how we end every vlog. And chop! We, we out. Uh, are we done? Yeah, no, actually, Drew, uh, this uh, last bit's on you. So, um, <coughs> uh, um, why don't you tell the folks at home, uh, just a little bit about yourself, Drew? What? 